What is up, guys? It's Tyblade Reacts back with another reaction today. And today, I got a new artist that is welcome to the channel. But what's funny is I actually listen to this guy on a personal level. So I listen to him like on my own time. But he's been getting some new stuff out uh, lately in the past month or two. And I'm trying to catch up with his new stuff now. The thing about this song is that it's actually a sequel, I believe, because I remember seeing this in this video. So I believe this is a sequel to it. So, because I didn't watch the whole video. I only watched like a snippet of it, like the beginning. And he has a similar scene of this in this music video. So, what I, I've never seen this video before, so I can't say anything. But I would suggest watching this one first. Now, obviously, I already watched it, so I couldn't react to it, sadly. Um, but I guess to get a better understanding of this is to watch this. Because, like I said, I haven't seen this video, so I don't know if it really is a sequel. All I'm saying is I've seen this in this video. So I'm not sure. But anyways, uh, today is going to be Bez Believe XXX Forever. Um, like I said, I don't know what this is about. We're gonna check it out. Best believe, he's one of my favorite rappers. I know I say that about almost every rapper I react to on this channel, but the thing is, it's just like, in my view, if I don't say one rapper is not my one of my, if I don't say a rapper is one of my favorite rappers, then it just basically tells you that I don't know them because because I have so many artists that I listen to that I love like. I don't really have a number one when it comes to all the rap artists I listen to. That's why I say they're one of my favorites because I don't have a number one. I mean, maybe it, like maybe I'm lying because Upchurch is one of my is like he's up there, but I just don't know about a number one yet because there's so many out there that I haven't even you know figured out. But anyways, let's get to this. Best believe XXX forever. Full screen this motherfucker and here we go. Yeah, see, it was just that little clip at the beginning that that was like, wait, because like it looked similar. That's why. But if you really want to get what I'm saying, you'll have to watch the Army of One video to get what I'm saying. But anyways, let's get into this one. This part I have not seen. Grab a microphone, let my name live on while I'm dead and gone. Well respected, so eclectic, like I resurrected Triple X Tentacion. Channel spirits and they live through me. Diamonds on my teeth like a young PMC. It's a polar eclipse and your boy say cheese. Summertime in Florida made the whole beach freeze. My name is hot as a leak. Hold up, bro. He fucking came in spitting fire. Hold on, man. Holy shit. I was not expecting that. Holy shit, Bez. Grab a microphone, let my name live on while I'm dead and gone. Well respected, so eclectic, like I resurrected. Triple X, then that's Channel spirits and they live through me. Diamonds on my teeth like a young PMC. It's a polar eclipse and your boy say cheese. Summertime in Florida made the whole beach freeze. My name is hot as a leaf. There is no option to quit. I cannot follow for slip. Made it a mission to follow my dreams and achieve some impossible shit. Ross Caucasian to spit. Ever since I was a G. Chop off the top of the wheel. Feel like I popped me a pill from the Matrix. When I go skirt at the throttle and pill. Curving and pushing these haters away. Dude, the way that beat dropped, like I said. Dude, best believe. Whew. If you need, like, someone that's going to hype up a party or, like, a family gets together, whatever. If you need someone to hype you up, dude, look up Bez Believe, man. This dude, this is how almost all of his music is. It's, like, really good beats, really good fucking lyricism. Like, dude, this guy's fucking, he, he's phenomenal at what he does. Um, it's funny how I found out about him. I actually, uh... It was actually a while back in uh, high school. I listened to him for a little bit, but then I didn't listen to him for a while. Then I came back on and I was like, you know, I actually like, because like the thing about Bez Believe is, yeah, he's just another white boy that raps, but at the same time, this white boy can rap. There's been a lot of white people coming out that can rap. We're taking over the game. <laughs> I'm just, hey, just don't take that offensive, but I'm just saying we're starting to take over the game now. I'm not putting that, I'm not racist or anything, I'm just speaking the truth. Roll down a window, flip him a bird, came up from flipping that herb, make sure my bag is secure, hustle guard 
dog, this really was earned. Discipline, the work ethic was learned. Stayed humble and I waited my turn. Haters talking reckless, ain't a concern. Hey, <laughs> yeah, never let a motherfucker block your shine. I was step the boundaries and cross that line. It's overtime, each bar blow your mind. Leave them a goosebumps like R.L. Stein. It's a horror story in the lab like Rick and Morty. Lyrically, I'm chasing Voorhees. Blood everywhere like a bitch on a period during an orgy. I'm raw, y'all. Money moves on my car. Best believe, bro. And like I said, white boys are taking over the game right now, and it's fucking crazy. Cause like back then, you would think like like Eminem was the only person, was the only white guy that was fucking actually doing something in the rap game. But these days, it seems like fucking there's so many fucking, you know, there's so many you know rappers out there, you know, you know, so many white rappers out there that are fucking coming up in the game, and it's just like, dude. Eminem's the one that fucking pi Eminem's the one the first white dude to do anything and he inspired a lot of people. Because think about this. When you're a white guy like me, grows up in the ghetto, right? Where Eminem is like the only fucking dude that can really rap. You listen to rap music and all that shit and you're always getting picked on because you're a white boy that likes rap. And it just makes you, you know, it makes you want to rap, makes you want to do something like that. And then you do it, and then the people that were making fun of you because they're like, "Oh, you're just another white boy that wants to rap. You ain't Eminem." Just bullshit. Just like I talked about in the Tom McDonald video. Um, fucking, excuse me. Um, in the Tom McDonald video. Um, like I said, when on that part where he said, "You're not Eminem." Okay, there's a reason why. It's because, to be honest, no black person is trying to be like Eminem. Okay, just think about that. Just, just, just like I said, this has nothing to do with race. This is just how it is. When you, when, when a white, when a white guy that wants to rap, he's gonna look up to Eminem. Black person wants to rap, he's gonna look up to like Tupac and Biggie. It's just how it is, sadly. Like this is not a race thing. Like seriously, I'm just telling you. Like, it's, it's just crazy how the rap game has changed. You know. From state to state, Ricky Bobby with the shaking bait. My music tap in the different markets. I'm crossing over to the ankles break, killing country rap, still in the trap. You crossing over to the ankles break. Yep, that was a good line. I like that. Show me love and I show it back. I rock a show for a bunch of white folks, then hit the know yo with booby black. I connect with the people, got it sewed up like a thread in the needle, turning the booth into resident evil. Go with the lions and so with the eagles, make them believe us. Right with the right with the. Lions and so with the Eagles. Yeah, see? This dude's really good. And honestly, the reason why I paused it again is because I did forget to say something. Rap is not about race. It's about the culture. It really is. It's, it's a culture. It's not really... Because, like, when people say that, um, like, it's just, you know, you know, I'll talk about that at the end of the video. In the party, oh, ho, yeah. blowing yeah. purple smoke jumping on the magic mushrooms like super mario <laughs> grab a microphone let my name live on while i'm dead and gone well, we're... sorry the bars keep on coming jumping on a, <laughs> a mushroom like super mario you know he's talking about drugs that's fucking make the soul eclectic like a resurrected triple x that's that's the y'all right, spirits and they live through me diamonds on my teeth like a young pmc it's a polar eclipse and your boy say cheese summertime in florida made the whole beach freeze See, I knew because he kept on saying this was a tribute to X, man. That, That is fucking awesome, dude. I'm not even going to lie. When I saw that picture of X, dude, holy shit, that got me in the feelings, dude, because I used to listen to X all the time, bro. Hold up. Look at that. Just look at this. Hold up. Look at this. Bro, tell me that shit don't give you chills, man. Tell me that fucking picture right there of XXX Tentacion does not give you chills. I'm gonna rewind it again. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me that shit don't give you chills, man. You are a liar, man. <laughs> 
Cause that shit gave me chills just looking at that. That is so true. Legends do live on forever. Um, anyways, so that song was fucking fire, and you know I'm gonna like that shit. Best believe. Okay, so, so I can clear up anything that I was saying during the video about, you know, white and black people and rap music. What I'm trying to say is, is that there should be no race involved in music. I know it, I know I was talking about how, like, back then, like, black people, or no, back then, like, white people weren't known to rap because it was more like a black, you know, it's a black, uh, rip, rap and hip hop's more of like, you know, for the black culture, whatever. What I'm saying is, is like, it shouldn't matter what your skin color is because rap is for everybody, dude. Rap, honestly, is for everybody. Don't matter your race, your sex, anything. Sexual orientation, like, your religion, it doesn't mean anything. Like, music is for everybody. I mean, you gotta think about this. I knew black people that listened to metal. I knew Mexican people that listened to country. Like, come on. Like, you, you, the thing is, is, like, music's for everybody. I mean, because I've been listening to rap since I was five years old, okay? Five years old. I've been listening to rap for 18 years now. And that's the one thing that's never changed. Is that... Well, underground has gotten better. But, like, when it comes to mainstream and shit... That's why I don't like mainstream anymore. Because... Like... It's just... It's just too biased. You know what I'm saying? It's like... It, they still make it seem like the only white person that can rap is Eminem. And I just think that's stupid because there's many other white people like Bez Believe, Struggle Jennings, Up Church, and all that stuff. It's just like, come on, man. We're over that shit. There's so many artists like this that deserve recognition. But anyways, guys, that's the end of the video. Click like and subscribe. Comment freely. Anything you want. I don't mind. Um, like I said, real quick, make sure to check this video out before you watch, uh, before, um, well, you know what? You're probably going to watch it anyways, but anyways, after you watch this one is what I'm saying. Go ahead and watch this one so you can under kind of like, cause I get, cause it seemed like it was a sequel. So we'll see. And you know what? I do like it if it is a sequel. Well, anyway. Have to be worth them my presence. Stop is dressing with heavy depression. Makes me wanna grab the Smith and Wesson, but that would be a suicidal message to the young.